I am using Angular in production already more than 4 years. This is why I want to share with you my 5 tips how to learn Angular and use it better. The most important thing that you can learn in Angular is TypeScript. First of all, it's the most popular static wrapper around JavaScript. Secondly, Angular is written with TypeScript, which means you can't really use Angular on a good level if you don't know TypeScript on a good level. And also it's important to learn TypeScript because you can use it later not only with Angular, but with other frameworks, because more and more companies want to use TypeScript for their projects, because it is safe and scalable. And the most important part here is that a lot of developers don't learn TypeScript properly. They just jump inside Angular, and it is completely possible to write code in Angular without really thinking about typing, because TypeScript will figure out it on its own, or you simply write TypeScript like you are writing JavaScript. You should not do this, because it's not enough to use from TypeScript just several interfaces inside your application, or fix TypeScript problems with any. First of all, you must understand how you can debug TypeScript and fix its error, because TypeScript is there to help you, not to bother you, this is why fixing it with any is nothing good for you or your project. The second important thing to master inside Angular is RxJS, and this is the additional library to work with streams. And the main point is that the whole Angular framework is written with usage of RxJS. And actually the whole functionality of Angular waits that you will use RxJS. The main problem is here that a lot of people are coming from plain JavaScript or React inside Angular and they never worked with streams. And they try to use concepts that they know from JavaScript or React inside Angular. And it just doesn't work. It doesn't work if you will write everywhere promises. It's not how Angular was planned. And you can't really just throw a bunch of properties inside and have a reactive project. This is why the correct way here is first of all to learn RxJS and secondly to use it almost everywhere. Because actually you can make whatever you want with streams. For example, you can listen for DOM events, you can also make API calls, or maybe you need to store some data inside services. And actually streams, observables and subjects can help you a lot with it. One more important thing to learn is dependency injection. And the problem is exactly the same like before. We don't have dependency injection feature inside other frameworks, especially in JavaScript, that often. This is why people are just used to have imports or exports inside JavaScript, and they don't know how dependency injection modules are working. So actually you need to learn this really deeply. So you need to understand how we create modules, how we can make dependencies of our modules, how we are isolating our components and services, and how we can share them. Without this knowledge you can't really use Angular on a good level. The next important point is NGRX, and actually this is the additional library for state management. And by default inside Angular we have just services, which is a plain classes where we can store some values and share them between our components. But actually it is not enough. If you are building big scalable applications, you need some architecture. And actually services are super low level and they don't give us any architecture. This is why we have NGRX, this is really popular solution, which leverages usage of Redux, which is the popular pattern for single flow of data and state management inside our application. And actually a lot of big companies are using NGRX, because this is really nice and scalable solution with actions, effects and reducers, which gives you a really high architecture of creating state management on client. There is one thing which is really awesome inside Angular, and this is Angular Forms. So actually you have template forms and reactive forms, which actually means that in a matter of minutes you can create a really nice and complex forms. And this is especially important because you can use reactive forms, which are working directly with streams. Which actually means that you must take your knowledge of RxJS that you already learned and use it inside Angular Forms. And then you can combine different types of data, for example your streams from the forms with your streams from backend for example, and this is really efficient. And here is a bonus point for me, you need to learn what is change detection inside Angular and how it is working. There are different strategies for change detection inside Angular, and by default we don't have the best approach. 
This is why you need to understand how we can disable change detection for different components and how you can react on changes manually and trigger them. In this case your Angular applications will be really fast and efficient. So these were my 5 tips how you can improve Angular knowledge. And actually if you want to see how to build a real Angular application, don't forget to check this video.